Good afternoon everybody, welcome to another POV review and drive at Peter's Auto Block. My name is Pedro, hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Right now in front of me I got a 2021 uh, GMC Canyon AT4. Now this is obviously a mid-size truck. Uh, I've never driven in a, a basically a GMC truck before. I have driven a, a Chevy, which is kind of the same thing anyway, but I've never driven any type of GMC truck. Obviously this is being a mid-size 2021 Canyon. And uh, obviously this AT4 is basically an off-road package, uh, you know, kind of vulnerable. I just drove the Ford Ranger Lariat, so basically the competitor to this and uh, back and forth. So um, really nice looking truck, as you can see, obviously we got some nice 31 inch wheels. Obviously this one's uh, finished off in Summit White, which is a very nice color, kind of complements the front end grill. As you can see, we got the GMC grill here with us, kind of like a darkish, uh, kind of a, I would say kind of a, it's a dark gray, uh, dark chrome finish to it. Really nice, really nice. We got a black foam bumper with a red tow hooks. We got some, uh, looks like some LED, uh, basically fog lights with um, some LED daytime running lights as well. We can make it the key here. And as you can see, yes, we got some uh, daytime running lights, uh, but also the uh, there's no scene or any type of LED LED lights. These are basically your standard, uh, you know, standard headlights with uh, an unseen, but you do have uh, LED fog lights and the rest of it. So very nice. It looks very nice. It looks very tough, you know, rough, rugged kind of type of truck. Obviously, we got a, a, a crew cab here as well. Uh, obviously, we got this one's got a tunnel cover in the back, as you know, as you can see. So uh, not bad. Nice looking wheels. Obviously, it's a good looking truck. This one's got a lockable. As you can see, this one's got a lockable bed, which is really cool. Obviously, it's open up. This is obviously no type of assistance here at all. So this is just a soft opening uh, back bed door. So. Um, not bad at all. As you can see, the sound cover is really nice. This one's done by, looks like an X cover. The uh, the manufacturer on that tunnel cover. It's kind of, obviously there's no protection. There's no uh, type of vinyl lining here. Uh, so it's all basic. No, I see there's only a light up here. So there's nothing else. I don't see any light or any type of hookup. She got some hooks here as well, but they're basic bed. There's nothing to it. So obviously missing a bed liner. But uh, other than that, it's not bad. This is, uh, I believe it's a 5.2 inch box. And uh, you can put about 1500, 1500 pounds in that, of course on the bed, I'll make sure that's uh, correct. And uh, so it's not bad at all. So, and especially with the tunnel cover, you got a bit of uh, privacy if you're gonna put some stuff here in the back as well. So let's pull up this up here. So uh, we got at least some steps here, as you can see, we got some steps to get into the trunk, which is really good. The Ford, uh, the Ranger didn't have any type of that, any type of assistance, so it's pretty tight as well. Since it's always a four by four, it was also a four by four. So I'm glad that the Chevrolet or GMC put some of these uh, steps to help you up when you're putting stuff in the, in, in the back bed. Obviously we got some um, we got some sensors here at the back and obviously you get a tow hook as well with everything ready. This, one, uh, this one's rated to about 7,000 pounds of, uh, of uh, towing capacity with the V6. So I love, I love this wheel. This has got, you know, obviously we got some Goodyear 31 inch Wrangler wheels, uh, really nice wheels and tires. So definitely ready to go off road, really nice truck. And uh, I really like it. It's very nice and rugged. And uh, you know, obviously I love, I've seen it and love the CR, CR2. You got also the um uh, what's the name of this one that they call the um the bison the bison cr2 is you know it's awesome you know love to see those really you know technical off-road trucks truck at all so uh, nice. all right i guess let's look inside here a little bit so this one's got a combination of uh leather and uh cloth interior as you can see here it's got a nice uh, finish of some type of leather and cloth in the middle so it's just more of a rugged truck it got some uh, rubber floor mats here in the back of course you got plenty of plastic with a you know, dark uh, finished interior trim here with the door sills and all that with the door opening and you got some um, basically for for your, some of your drinks back here a speaker so it's not bad at all let me come in here and see where this is where i will be sitting here and yeah it's tight back here i can barely fit in here it seems a little bit tighter than the um this seems a little bit tighter than the Ranger's interior in the back seats. So this seems to be have a little bit less space. I don't know if that's correct or not where my seat is, but um, I put my seat back in the same thing. It might be a little tight, but yeah, these are kind of tight back seats anyway. So uh, back here we got, and there's no AC outlets here where you got two USB connections and a 12 volt here and a little bit of storage space here. So it's not bad at all. Um, headroom is not bad. So you can see there's still got plenty of space here between my head. Um, there is plenty of space for heads here. And then the, and the visibility is really nice here. So. So, so we do have a cup holder here as well and the armrest holder here so not bad and obviously the seats are nice obviously you got looks like a manual uh, back opening door or back opening glass here for the for the bed and obviously this go back here as well so 
Not bad at all. It's a nice interior. Obviously, it's got a mix of leather and that's usually interior. So obviously, Chevy is not known for the latest and greatest of interior. So I think Ford and uh, basically Dodge ha Ram has them covered with that. So, uh, but still a, a good truck. Still, you know, dependable and it's still rugged and a good, a reliable truck. So, and a good size truck. These are very competitive. So this are sells well. So, and uh, not bad. So this is about, you know, obviously the Ranger. These are about the same type of age. Um, I think the Rangers, you know, it's about, I, I believe it might be a little bit better in terms of interior wise but um, this doesn't fall behind at all on the back so all right guys let's, let's go ahead guys and see if I can open up and see what kind of motor we got underneath this girl let's see if we got a hood release all right guys so here we got at least we got some nice hood struts here thank god because obviously a lot of these trucks sometimes that I've seen don't include any type of hood struck so all right, here we got guys 3.6 liter v6 variable valve timing direct injection uh this one's got 308 horsepower 275 275 pound feet of torque connected to an eight-speed automatic transmission and of course the forward drive system so not bad of an engine obviously this is a very reliable engine i think from gm and from and chevy so obviously it's you know it's got plenty of power for every day it's really nice not bad of an engine it's a pretty neat truck this has got 2500 miles so it's a brand new truck. Basically, it's a brand new truck till. Uh, this one runs about, I think it was about 19 or 18 miles to the Gallon City and about 22, 23 highway. So I'll put those, all those figures out on the screen for you guys to make sure that's correct. So, all right, guys. And there we go, guys. We got the front of this GMC truck with the red line. Really nice truck. It looks rugged, so I like it. So, all right, guys. Let's head over to the interior. Of course, we can see you got here kind of like a dark uh, grayish interior trim here. Obviously, you got some soft uh, touches here, leather with a little bit. It looks like an orange stitch in here. Really nice. Obviously, this is your black, all your tough, you know, plastic here. Of course, you got some more stitching here in the middle of the... Uh, it's not bad. This is pretty soft here, and this is hard. So, kind of nice combination here. Still giving you some nice features of a stitching here. Obviously, you got, it looks like a trailer brake control here. Obviously, you got your lights, your uh, all-wheel drive system here. Of course, you got two-wheel low, auto. Gives you an auto setting as well, four high and four low. So, that's nice that they give you... Uh, in auto setting i'm sure that everything locks automatically and all that stuff for for differentials and everything so you got the light control here obviously we got some rubber floor mats and we do have a manual you know brake activated uh, emergency brake so uh, unlike the ford ranger has a you know the handle in the middle so this has got power seats of course in the front uh, here we go we got the mix of this leather and cloth interior so not bad you got the at4 stitch into this which is a really nice touch i like that very well really nice uh, interior it's not bad at all so let's climb inside guys and check a look it out here so all right guys so climbing inside here to the interior of the chevy canyon i mean the chevy canyon of course the gmc canyon i apologize so kind of the same thing but obviously get used to so all right guys not bad at all so we got here inside of course we got the interior that's not bad of course you got the stitching i just mentioned uh really nice of course you got the dark uh interior uh part of the interior design here not bad at all so it's very soft and smooth touch you got that all right guys here so we got an 8 inch screen here let's go ahead and turn it on now this one's got a key this one's obviously you got here's the keys as you can see obviously very basic but we still gotta use the key for this one so kind of going to throw back school so let's get this truck going here as you can see guys so you can take a look at the interior and we get some ac going because it's pretty warm here in central florida the humidity even though it's kind of overcast day we do have quite a bit of humidity so gmc of course in the main uh main uh, nav screen here so and i'm gonna get a little bit so just the steering wheel just a little bit down if it's up and on, there we go so so we got a lot of controls here for your input for your center screen here you got a small it looks like a three or three and a half inch screen there in the middle obviously you got analog tachometer and speedometer and you got also your coolant and your fuel gauge there so eight inch screen guys here for let's shut the door here so we got an eight inch screen here screen over here it's pretty nice touch as you can see we got wi-fi uh services all kinds of the, the settings are really cool it's got a really nice good touch to it very responsive apps you got vehicle all kinds of settings you can put in. I'm not gonna mess with all that kind of stuff. Uh, but of course you got, you know, your screen here and we got a stereo. Let's see what kind of... Uh... Let's look at the stereo guys here, so. That's a kind of okay system. Doesn't sound too good. Actually the Ranger system sounds better, uh, but it's not too bad. Obviously you got XM radio. I don't know if that's activated or not. It's a brand new vehicle, so probably will. it is. So we got obviously, you got all kinds of information. You got obviously temperature and your time. Um, I don't think this is how it doesn't have any um, navigation on it so I don't know if it's part of the package or not but I'll put that information down on the description below but obviously you got your home link here of course you got home link here's the back here's your uh, back uh, looking mirror you got a home uh, uh, OnStar here as well 
all kinds of settings here of course you got lights and you got of course your um, sunglass holder and we got some lights here as well for the rear probably and of course we got mirrors and lights here as well obviously the steering wheel is nice it's leather also it's got that, that orange stitching and uh, of course you got some controls here for your center screen here as well and of course you got your hp automatic transmission here in the center we got of course it's got a single stone ac uh, but it's cooling really good um, obviously you guys hear from your fan speed as you can see that kind of also helps you out here in the middle of your screen and um of course here we got traction control we got looks like like some sort of lane depart or uh departure uh, feature of course parking sensors off or on your hazards looks like your tow modes here and obviously we got some sort of hill descent control and some sort of window here for the back or something though no. and here we got some heated seats and looks like look as you can also this these are heated seats and you can control either the bottom cushion or the top or the back is so that's pretty cool and you can turn on uh any type of either your, your back or the bottom or both so that's pretty cool it's got a little bit of a storage here and over here we got a couple of usb connections looks like an auxiliary which i haven't seen that in a long time and we got a 12 volt here and we got a little storage there's no uh wireless charging that i see anywhere here of course you got your cup holders and another um storage bin right here so you can see a couple of things from the uh rubber mats and here in the middle we got another storage bin doesn't have any type of connections or anything like that here in the middle so not bad obviously it's got the same type of interior uh very it's got a very nice uh you know viewing it's not everything the windows are low so you got nice disability and of course there's no sort of at all here at all seen, so. uh, one of the people that i follow of course it's street speed 717 if you guys should check him out uh his brother-in-law has got a zr1 or cr2 so this stuff's a pretty tough this is a good you know, these are tough trucks you know v6 is good and reliable you got a 4x4 system in it different settings so you can't go wrong with this truck this truck these trucks take a lot of abuse so they're they're good trucks so i know gm and chevy built some good trucks so um all right guys it's going to do a test drive and uh so see how this one feels so obviously i just drove the, the ranger and lariat that's got a 2.3 liter you know turbo four uh, this obviously v6 gonna feel much different obviously it's a little might be probably a little not as torquier at the bottom but um it's got definitely much much more horsepower but another 38 horsepower more than the lariat ranger with a 2.3 liter so v6 308 horsepower 275 pound feet of torque going to the wheels so let's go ahead guys break this off and let's get going to do a test drive so i'm already signed up here got some power seats just adjusting a little bit and uh all right guys let's go ahead and do a test drive of this nice and so doesn't feel bad nice and smooth obviously the eight speed uh feels smooth so far and compared to the left this one feels this one doesn't feel that bouncy Obviously, it's gotta have some different shocks for the off-road. So, all right, guys. So, our first stop here, and look at the brakes. Yeah, the brakes feel a little bit different on this one here. A little more. It's got a little more of a bite to the pad than what it feels like. So, oh, it's got good power. The V6 got good power, um, but it doesn't feel as torquey as the as the four-cylinder on the Ranger. But this definitely feels like it's got a little more horsepower at the top of range, so. But I thought it doesn't feel too bad at all. It feels nice. It's pretty quiet. There's not much wind noise at all. And the V6 is pretty quiet, too. And the steering, uh, it's always just a 4x4 system. I'm not expecting anything good handling, but it feels good. It feels light. doesn't feel that heavy. I mean, it feels tossable. Obviously, we're sitting high on off-road tires, so obviously, you can expect. It's kind of similar feeling to uh, the Bronco, but obviously, not that type of feeling but same higher uh, off road but doesn't feel bad at all not by means anything it's really nice so just kind of getting used to the but no it's i mean it's an agile truck so but it feels good that's that's what the suspension doesn't feel as bouncy as a ford ranger suspension um obviously if this got some sort of fork fox shocks or some sort of shocks definitely it's got a better ride suspension definitely soaked up uh it's got a more stable ride and uh yeah this has got a little bit better ride than the uh, than the, the the ranger for sure so obviously we got an analog analog um, a digital speedo as well the, it's an analog one but uh no it feels good let's take a little bit of a kick down not bad i mean let's just start the brakes a little bit no yeah the brakes are yeah the brakes are definitely better feeling in this and got a little more power this does have a much better uh feeling brake system than the than the ranger does so um Yes, absolutely. This does a little bit better. So, all right, guys. Let's 
turn this one either. And the brakes are good. Turning is good. So yeah, this one doesn't have the torque of the four cylinder turbo, but uh, it's, it's it's very smooth and transmission is very smooth as well. And it feels adequate. It feels very good, quite super smooth power plant. So um, and the steering is good. I mean, the car it's very similar feeling to the Ranger for sure, but this definitely rides better. The suspension is not as bouncy or not as floaty and bouncy as this has got more of a stable ride. So this definitely has to ride with some different shocks. Um, definitely some more control for sure so this definitely feels this probably maybe much better for off-road to me so in my opinion but um it's good to get it i got to drive the ranger in this this is definitely a better riding vehicle and it handles a little bit it feels a little more taut so um definitely obviously the ranger doesn't have the fx4 package it doesn't have the tremor package so that's just a regular suspension so it might feel similar to this if there was a regular suspension instead of this 84 off-road suspension so especially with the tires as well so but everything's at your fingertips guys so we got here the control for the radio so we got all the ac everything's here at your fingertips so it's very well as well everything's really small you know it feels compact uh and it's a very nice the very nice feeling truck so obviously gm is not known for you know the best or you know quality interior or more sophisticated interior newer interior this is more of a dated more you know they're in the probably saying the bottom of the scale in terms of interior design and materials and stuff compared to ford and especially ram ram's got their game going on especially with a with a ram truck so um but obviously ford's catching up you know obviously the even the ford ranger is still an old platform that's dating back to 2012 or 13 so uh, but this is, feels very good though this truck's you know it's not bad at all and obviously the transmission i need to support you might do it but uh man it's not bad at all it's a good it's a good truck you know it feels definitely more planted and the right feels a little bit more supple than the than the four ranger does but i like it. it's a very good truck nice truck so obviously um yeah, the steering has got a little, slight little bit of a delay, but it's got a good feeling to it. Not super direct, but um, you know, it's got a big tire, so 31 inch tire. So, but I like the truck, it's really nice. Oh, yeah. And now uh, I wish I could take these things off road somewhere, but there's nothing here. I'm not, I don't want to get this truck dirty. They, they, they wash them at the dealership. Yeah, yeah, the suspension definitely is much more compliant and more. Um, the control than, than, than the than the, uh, than the, uh, the Ranger for sure so yeah and the brakes are yeah the brakes have a little more feeling to it more they definitely have a little more power than I feel in the pad so yeah guys this is a really nice truck I like it I mean it's not obviously the interior of the Rangers might be a little bit better but um, this is not bad at all and obviously the V6 feels much more smoother um, you know, it feels good. It's, you know, obviously it's not bad at all. And it's a visual, it's a bendable engine, so sure it's reliable and, um, but obviously it's not as fuel, maybe not as fuel efficient as the EcoBoost in the Ranger, but, uh, this has got about 24 miles to the highway and about 19 or 18 to the city. So obviously it depends how you drive, of course, but it's very smooth. As you can see, the, 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 the shifts are super smooth. The V6 feels really smooth. So really nice and it gets up to speed really quickly so i'm not even pushing it so really nice truck i like it so i want a little bit of test on the brakes yeah absolutely oh yeah this is yeah i'm, I'm not in a sports car picture be careful <laughs> but now yeah, this is looks good it's got good turn in uh this truck feels definitely yeah, this, this definitely rides better and it's a better uh the suspension is definitely much better work than this one than the uh, the Ranger for sure. How it is being, of course, as I mentioned, a much better performance, uh, uh, probably shocks and springs. So, but not bad at all. I like it. So, and um, all right, guys. So let's go ahead and park this girl here. So, guys, I'm going to think. I want to give a big shout out to Ford, Bartow Ford, and Randy for allowing me some time with this uh, Canyon. So, thank you very much, Randy and Bartow Ford and uh, they've been great guys so i'll put all their information in the links down or in, in uh, all the put their link to their website down below in the description guys so if you want to check out one of these trucks or the other trucks i've driven so but a really nice truck guys i like it it's it's uh, you know i was surprised i wasn't expecting it to feel much better than the ranger this is definitely a better riding truck uh, the interior is not as uh, you know as uh, i think the foreigner has a slight better interior um 
And here's the rear camera, as you can see, it's got directory lines, of course. And uh, let's go see, we got a trailer. Oh, I see we got a trailer line as well, or directory lines. But the, the, the camera itself is not bad at all. It's got some good quality. It's not as sharp as a Ford's uh, camera in the back, but it's still a good, good quality camera, and it's plenty of size for this one. So that's not bad at all. So all right guys and uh let me know what you guys think there we go very much for watching guys thank you very, thank you very much for everybody subscribe guys if you have uh not had a chance to subscribe please subscribe to the channel we're gonna bring you so much better content you got some more cars lined up uh you know and uh thank you very much again have a fantastic day guys and